A big scare for parents and students in the North County as Del Norte High School, which is in the Poway Unified School District, and six nearby schools are placed on lockdown. It's our top story here on The Four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. This happened about four hours ago after someone made a phone call threatening to shoot up Del Norte and another campus. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal is live outside Del Norte with uh, certainly some terrifying moments for the entire community, Kelly. Absolutely. You know, I saw a lot of parents out here crying. Uh, they were texting and calling their kids. You could definitely feel the tension in the air out here. Now, police say that that phone call that was made was made from a Google phone number and the person had or used a robotic voice. They called more than once. First, you're going to hear from uh, the police department. Then you're going to hear from a parent. I want to stress nobody was seen on campus with a gun. Nobody was seen on campus committing any sort of violence. We take these sorts of threats seriously every time we get them, and we certainly understand there's a lot of concern, especially after what just happened in Texas. It's heartbreaking. You're sitting at home, you know, listening to all of the things that happened a couple days ago in Texas, and, you know, I get a text from my daughter that says, hey, we're going into lockdown. You don't know why. You don't know what's going on, and it's, it's just frustrating, and it's, it's terrifying. And that was mom Lisa Herndon. Her daughter is a junior at Del Norte and her son goes to Oak Valley Middle School, which was also placed on lockdown today. Now, San Diego Police, the Sheriff's Department uh, fanned out here and at several other schools nearby searching for any sign of a threat for any weapons, all while a crowd of anxious and emotional parents waited nearby. As of two o'clock today, nothing was found. The lockdowns were lifted and Herndon was reunited with her daughter. I was I'm so relieved. I you know, it started with like the doors being like, like we were told just to lock the doors and then it was like, and then we were told to go into lockdown and then we were sitting in the walkways and we can hear helicopters and everything and everyone's telling us of all the other schools that are locked down and it was really hard and then there was like no cell service because everyone's texting their parents obviously so my texts were going through and it was really hard. How scared were you? Really. Really, like at first, like some people were just joking and then it was, it got more serious, you know. And what was it like to hug your mom now? Amazing. <laughs> the best feeling in the world, honestly. Yeah. And you could just see her mom's demeanor change. It looked like a weight had been lifted off of her shoulders. And I'm sure it was the same case for many other parents and students here uh, this afternoon. Now, her mom did tell me that it's like every time they do get a threat like this, they have to take it seriously, uh, given the climate that we live in. And she said that's just so unfortunate. We do know that there will be an added police presence here at Del Norte High School tomorrow. Heather and Carlo. Yeah, we have to hand it to law enforcement for their quick response to all of those schools in the area. A lot of nerves just completely frazzled, obviously coming off of what happened in Texas. Kelly, let me ask you, though, as far as investigating who made this robocall threat, is there any way that the police are going to be able to track down who this was? Uh, well, they're certainly going to try. They say there is still an investigation that is going on to find out who made this threat to the school. And uh, some of the parents mentioned today that there have been other recent threats made at this same school. So they're wondering if they're all connected. Police say the investigation is ongoing, uh, but they say certainly if anybody has any, informa any information that might help them, give them a call. I don't know if it was any kind of serious threat, if it was a prank. If it was, it certainly wasn't funny. Kelly Hesedal reporting live from Del Norte High School. Thanks, Kelly.